Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do calculations of previous month to date, quarter to date, and year to date, which is uh, calculating the amount, whatever amount it is, let's say sales, for up to that given date. For example, if I'm in 4th of July and I'm looking at the month to date, which is from 1st of July to 4th of July 2007, I can compare it with the previous month month to date which is from 1st to 4th of June 2007 and same for the quarter and year let's see how this calculation works the sample data model that I have includes a few tables here I have a fact sales table and a couple of dimensions for customer and product they are related using key columns to this fact table and I have a date dimension. For this example, I'm using the custom date table, not the default date table. And when you are using custom date table, uh, usually you go to files, options and settings, options, and you disable the O2 date and time, which is uh, what Power BI does to create the uh, timetable behind the scenes. So I disabled that. Um, I'm not saying that for doing this calculation, you need something like this. What I'm saying is that um, all examples in this demo is built with that. So I disabled that, I marked this table as a date table using this option and the date table setting that I have has the full date alternate key, which is a date column set as the date uh, column for this date table. So if you are interested to learn about it, what is custom date table, what is default date table, how to mark a date table as a, um, as a date table and what all things behind the scene of that is. I have an article and video explaining that, so check the link down in the description below. So this is my model. I have a few calculations already in it. So this is, let's say, the visualization that I have. First is the sales itself. Sales is just a simple calculation like this, which is sum of the sales amount. And then I have sales month to date. Um, this is one of the ways that you can calculate month to date. I use the calculate function. I'm calculating the sales, which is the previous measure I just showed you using date, month to date. And this is the date field in the date table. I have the same for quarter to date, which as you see, it's exactly the same thing. Only the function dates QTD is used and dates year to date, which is exactly the same thing. Dates YTD is used. I have explained these in details in, again, another video, an article, how to calculate month to date, year to date, and quarter to date. Uh, so if you are interested, check the link down in the description below, which has uh, information about that. Now, uh, let me first show you what this quarter to date, month to date, and year to date is showing. So here you can see these calculations. For example, uh, at any given date, let's say 8th of July, the month to date is giving me sum of sales from 1st of July to 8th of July. So that value, this value is pretty much like sum of all of these together. Um, the quarter to date and uh, year to date are considering the whole quarter. In this case, the whole quarter would still starts from July. But if I go further down in somewhere like August, the month to date restarts as you see in August. Here, the restarts happen, but for quarter to date, it doesn't happen. It continues until the end of quarter and year to date the same. Now, uh, how you can do uh, month to date compared to the previous month to date? Because, for example, you are in a date like this, let's say 7th of August. Uh, your month to date is this value. Now you want to calculate the previous month to date, how this works. So uh, the calculation can be done in many different ways. One of the ways to do this calculation is this. So. I've created a new measure um, and I use the existing month to date in that calculation. I use the calculate function. I said calculate that month to date, but I want to calculate it for, uh, for one month prior this period. There are some functions you can use to go to the previous period, um, things such as uh, same period last year, parallel period, date add. Uh, same period last year is good for situation that you want to go one year back. Parallel period gives you flexibility on month, day, and uh, 
quarter and things like that. But uh, but the problem with parallel period is that it does not give you just that exact day in that previous period. It gives you the whole month, for example, which you don't want. So I'm using date add, but there are other functions that you can use. If you are interested to learn about the difference between date add, parallel period, and same period last year, also check down in the description below, there's a link to that explains that in my article. So I'm using date add. I'm saying that just go one month back. That is why minus one and month, right? So the result is something like this. For example, when I'm looking at August 8, uh, this is the uh, month to date, meaning that from 1st of August to uh, 8th of August, this is some of those. And this is uh, month to date of the prior month. So this is calculating sales from 1st of July to 8th of July, the month before this. And that is why you don't see anything here because uh, this my, my data set doesn't have anything in June 2005. So anything in July 2005 doesn't show previous month to date because there is no previous month to date value in there. Same type of calculation can be done for quarter to date, same period. Um, let's say previous quarter to date so you can see it is still calculate sales quarter to date so I'm using existing quarter to date calculation I just said date add minus one quarter this is the difference in here only I'm going one quarter back and if I go to somewhere around here so that I can compare and show it to you for example for a date like this 28 of 28 of December the quarter uh, to date is um, is a value for starting from 1st of that quarter, from 1st of October uh, of 2005 to 28th of December 2005. This one is for the previous quarter, from 1st of July 2005 to 28th of September 2005. And same for the year to date. So for year to date, same thing, calculate sales year to date, date add minus one year. I could have also said same period last year in this situation which would have given me the same result. So in this case, this would be, for example, at any given date when I'm looking at it, for example, let's say somewhere in September, um, 18th of September 2006. Uh, this would be from 1st of January 2006 to um, 18th of September 2006. And this would be from 1st of January 2005 to 18th of September 2005. Exactly the same period, like a year to date period up until that given date, but in the prior year than that. I have also another article explaining how you can have dynamic previous period. For example, you select like these 20 days and you compare it with 20 days right before this. I have an article and video explaining about that and also another explaining how to do week to date calculation. So if you are interested to learn more about like these period comparison and calculations, go and check out those articles as well. The link to all of those is down in the description below. Uh, and uh, I do Power BI consulting and training and mentoring. So if you are interested to learn more about Power BI, reach out to me. Or if you are interested to learn Power BI for free, we have tons of articles and videos. Um, so make sure to subscribe into our YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned for updates from us about Power BI. Thank you for watching this video.